Only the Avatar can master all four elements and bring balance to the world. It means so much more to me already, just having seen the first episode. Chapter 8, Beginnings, Part 2. Thanks to you, this world may cease to exist. Let me help you. I don't want your help. Don't interfere with me again, human. Even Rava doesn't understand the significance of what just happened. Humans are destined to be an integral part of the world. There's no stopping that. I love his ride, it's so so cool. It reminds me of Princess Mononoke again. It's not a cat, but he rides an antelope thing. <gasps> are those Wow Do you see that, Mula? People. And they have some kind of wind power. Did he just say what I think he said? Wind power? All these months of people making fun of me for saying wind bending. If it's good enough for the original avatar, it's good enough for me. <laughs> All the pain and suffering I've been through. Finally, some vindication. Thank you, Juan. You really do bring balance to the world. More humans! I found you! No. <laughs> Wait! I'm friendly! <laughs> Typical wind nomad behavior. Another lion turtle city. And it's flying! So the lion turtles are different elements. And this is the air turtle. That's so cool. I love it. I have got to get over there. <laughs> Good luck. Wish me luck. Stay awesome, Mula. How are you? I'm one. It's so amazing seeing them as a society. Sit with us. We would love to hear of your travels. Oh no. Watu's chaos is spreading. <laughs> Were they playing with an alligator? There he is. He looks so awesome. I don't know what it is about his design. It hits some raw instinct. He's virus-like in his design. And I guess Rava is too, for that matter. There's something very primordial about them. I think one of the biggest selling points of these episodes so far are these two, Rava and Batu. And I think a big part of it is their design. They're just so interesting and cool. Why is the great spirit of darkness here, but not his other half? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll explain later. Yeah. How are you feeling since our split, Rava? I've never been better. <laughs> He's taunting. When harmonic what a jerk. convergence comes, I will destroy you forever. Harmonic convergence. We thank you for your help, but how did you become split from Vatu? The jig is Ask up. Ask him. Run! <laughs> it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Classic. I ask that you grant me the power of air so that I can defeat Batu before it's too late. No human has ever held two elements at the same time. I'm not like other humans. I can learn to do it. Mm. Hmm. I will help you to master the power of air. And in return, I will help you restore balance to the world. That was a great scene. Earlier I spoke about this like diamond in the rough chosen one thing, right? That's not to say that, you know, there's like a universal divine purpose for him, but I just mean he has such special characteristics and qualities that he can literally communicate with the gods, right? Like he's earned the respect of the lion turtle, which is so incredible when you think about it. And then look at him, here he is like just traveling the world with his god friend. Tying this to real life, there are people who just seem to transcend the laws of humans sometimes, right? Like you meet these special people who just seem capable of anything. It seems like magic just happens around them. And I think a lot of it comes down to a combination of values and will, you know, and just belief, faith. So you have someone like Juan able to stand in front of a literal God and say what's on his mind with conviction. You know, that's powerful. What's this harmonic thing Vatu was talking about? Harmonic yeah. convergence. That is when Vatu and I must battle for the fate of the world. How long do we have until then? About Tomorrow. a year in oh. your time. That's better than I thought. It is very dangerous. That's what they said about living in the spirit wilds, and I survived that. <laughs> uh, not exactly the same, but okay. Awesome. It feels completely different. Why hasn't one of you destroyed the other? He cannot destroy light any more than I can destroy darkness. That doesn't sound so bad. Even if Vatu wins, you'll come back. Yes. Yeah, but not but you will for the humans. Not survive to see it. Right. If I'm gonna help you battle Vatu, then I should visit more lion turtles. Gotcha. So that's how he gets all the elements. Spirits come from another realm. Humans have been forced apart. Most people think they live in the only human city in the world. Oh, so they're New Yorkers. She's not like the dark spirits you've probably run into. What's the difference? We throw fire at any spirit we see around here. You have no idea what you're doing. You're only making things worse. Rava, take a deep breath. 
so uptight. That's actually perfect because that's a very human embodiment of order, right? Things have to be this way. Latu's the fun one. He's the one you want to hang out with, but he'll get you into trouble and then you'll go running back to Rava and she'll scold you, but you'll feel safe and warm in her embrace. We can resolve this peacefully. Stinky? You came back! I know there must be a way to work out a compromise. It's interesting that Juan created the imbalance and then is responsible for balance. He's the embodiment of all of it. <laughs> yeah, you're feeding Latu. He's growing stronger. Rava, we need to combine our energies. Maybe they will have enough power to stop this. Wow, enough. is he full avatar for the first time? He's controlling all four elements. Yeah, the first avatar moment. Ah, oh, you were so close. Not quite there yet. Oh, she's so small. I thought that was a lamp for a second, like the genie. Aladdin references continue. This so is the, the southern portal. portal to the spirit world. Here, Vatu and I will do battle once again. So I'm trying to connect this to Unalak. He wants both portals open. Only Korra can open them. Why does he want that? Is he connected to Vatu in some way? No human can stand against me. Haven't you heard the legends? I'm not a regular human anymore. <laughs> so cool. Prepare to face oblivion! Rava! The only way to win is together! This is just so cool. And I thought Ozai was a formidable enemy. This is one of my favorite things in media of all time. And you see this a lot in games. It's like fighting an impossible battle against an element of life itself. It's unwinnable. Like one can never beat Vatu because Vatu is not mortal. He's not even a creature. He's just a fact of existence. But that doesn't stop one from doing it. In some ways that seems like foolishness and hubris. But a cooler element of that is like, he can literally stand up to something that he has no chance against and still hold on to his values and virtues and act in the way he wants, even if there's a certain chance of defeat. One of the reasons why this is such a powerful image and resonates with us so, so strongly is that this is literally life. Like, life is unwinnable. We can't change the fundamental reality of the universe or our limited existence, and the knowledge of that can crush us. But I think part of being a realized human being and part of being a hero is rising to meet that head-on anyway. Even knowing you can't win against life, you're still gonna live. Looking these forces right in the eyes, accepting them as they are and then doing your best as a person, that I think is a powerful message. For me personally, this kind of thing resonates very strongly, always. He's holding his own too. So beautiful. Wow, that was a nice combo. The harmonic convergence is about to begin. Begin? I thought that was it. <laughs> mm. So the portals merge. What did you just do? We are bonded forever. He got power from the portal somehow. He's, he's in the avatar state. This is your prison now. And I will close the portal so no human will ever be able to physically enter the spirit world and release you. So I'm guessing that's what Unalak is after. Different groups of people must learn to live together. This is my mission to use Rava's light spirit to guide the world toward peace. So if he's the avatar with Rava, who's peace, it seems like there should be an anti-avatar too, right? Like on Vatu's side, just, you know, for balance sake. I'm sorry, Rava. Is that one? I failed to bring wow. peace. Darkness still surrounds humanity. Don't worry. That's sad. We will be together for all of your lifetimes. And we will never give up. <sighs> Wow. We saw this guy's whole life in two episodes. It was amazing. But he ended up having power of the gods because of his, his actions. 
My name is Korra. I'm the Avatar. We've been raising this herd of air bison since the Hundred Year uh -huh. War. I never thought I'd be able to present one to the Avatar. What's Naga gonna think, though? The harmonic convergence is Tomorrow. only weeks away. Okay. <laughs> Not I as good as a year, the but... Spirit portal before that happens. Yeah, these episodes were incredible. Everything from the themes to the art style, the music. Juan is an incredible character. They drew really heavily from things I really like. Like, there were a lot of Aladdin parallels and a lot of Miyazaki parallels. His fight against Vatu is one of the most epic things you can imagine, right? I've only seen that theme done a couple times and usually I see it in games, but it's one of my personal favorites. So going back to my hope at the beginning of this video about the Avatar having some thematic importance, that definitely made the Avatar way more real and interesting to me because it wasn't just some law of the world. It came about as a result of a human's desire to balance things out, which created imbalance, which made him responsible for continuing to seek balance. It also marks a transition for humans, right? They go from these isolated enclaves out into the world and that causes a lot of problems. And and so it's up to the Avatar to safeguard and protect the world from calamity as a result of that, which is an interesting idea. For me, it adds a lot more feeling to it to actually see Juan go through that. Uh, I have so much more respect for the Avatar system now. It's interesting that the whole thing starts with him stealing power from a god. That's the beginning of his awakening, and that gives him a new responsibility to watch over the inevitable rise of humanity and to try to make sure that things don't get out of control. There's a lot there. I'm gonna have to think about it a little bit more. I'm really grateful that they put this in there. They put a lot of work into it, a lot of thought, and overall just two beautiful episodes. That's gonna do it for this two-parter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time when we go back to Republic City, I guess.